Hey, this is Jesse for bit to brain and today I want to go over a few commands that are exclusive to the OSX terminal. Uh, you won't find these on Linux, so you won't find this on Unix, you're just going to find this on OSX. So the first command I want to look at is open. So let's say we have this test.png file, but we don't have to fish around our system to open it up. We can open it up right from the terminal, if I could type correctly. So bam, it opens it up. We can do that with a text file. All right, let's say for whatever reason we wanted to open up test.png within text edit. We could do that. We've got to put dash E. Not knowing why we would do that, but we could do that. So what I like to do is open up applications from here. But the thing is, I don't want to have to type that in every time. So you can actually do it like this. So if you don't have a bash profile in your system, you can go ahead and create that. So you would just type in touch space dot bash underscore profile. And then you would open it up. So we're going to open that, that up now. And you see here, I have an alias to app. So right here, you'd want to copy, you want to copy this right here, this alias app just as it is there. So that way, when I type in app, it will automatically open up applications for me so I can just scroll down and click what I want. So that's really handy. I love aliases, so I recommend you do that throughout. I actually have another tutorial showing you how to do that. So I definitely recommend you view that, and I definitely recommend that you use aliases. All right, the next two commands I want to look at kind of go hand in hand. Uh, it's pb copy and pb paste. These commands basically let you read and write from the OSX clipboard. So if we, for instance, let's do cat.txt. All right, what a lovely file. So let's cat that again and pipe it out to PB copy. Now, if we run PB paste, we could send this out to, let's say, test.txt. Now, if we cat that, test.txt, we will now see it has the same contents. So let's go one step further. Let's say that we did tail. Now, tail will just bring up the last few lines, uh, the last 10 by default, but we want to actually do, say, the last three. PB copy. Now, this will copy this. Whoops, I'm going to do txt. So now if we do pb paste test.txt and we make the uh, output it to test dot, or test3.txt this gets confusing cat test3.txt and we'll see that it has the last three lines. Let me clear the screen. All right, the next command I want to go over is the screen capture command. Now I'm sure a lot of you have used the option to screen capture using the shift command four and the shift command three keys, but you can actually do something very similar within the terminal. So we just type in screen capture dash I. There's a lot of different options for this command, but let's start with dash I and the file name. So we'll name it pic, not PNG. Now if we click the space bar, and we capture this, we just click our button, click our, on our mouse, we'll actually capture this window. Now if we hit our spacebar again, we can actually make a selection. So if I just want to select this, now I've made the selection, I can open, remember that was our first command, this file, and you'll see it captured that. Pretty cool, pretty simple. So let's say we want to do a screen capture and mail it to someone. We can do that. Copy the clipboard. We'll say test.png. Now that took a capture of it, of the entire screen, and it's already to be mailed to someone. Now let's take a screen capture using a delay of two seconds. Let's say we want to open this image in preview. 
And let's say we also want to copy it to the clipboard. So that's a lot going on. Let's wait a couple seconds. It took the picture. Let's do that again. Well, when you copy the clipboard, it will not open up in preview like that. Okay, that makes sense. But as you see there, it opens up directly in preview. And again, the dash C will copy it to the clipboard. So let's say you want to capture this with your mouse. So you can do dash S. T, and you want to save it as a PDF. And we can do that too. So we have to make a selection. Let's select all this. All right, let's open it up. And you say, bam, we've made a selection. And it is a PDF file. Now, I definitely encourage you to check out the man pages for this because there's a lot of options. <laughs> I must be dyslexic. I just did that backwards. So as you see, there's a lot of options in here with this. And pretty much they're all useful. I paid particular uh, attention to this, the delay, capital T, and then the lowercase t is basically which format you want. So you see there's several formats. So that comes in extremely handy. And also the uppercase s and lowercase s, they are different. So let's go into our fourth option, our fourth command here, and that's disk util. Now there is a version of this, it's uh, disk utility, somewhat like this, but you have a lot more options, I believe, within disk util here. So let's say for instance, disk util. You have to be very careful with this command. So this will give me a lot of information on my disk. I mean, a lot of information. So it's similar to uh, like an F-disk. So again, do disk util. You see there's a lot of information here. I definitely recommend you go through it. You can mount, unmount disk, eject disk. All right, and the last command I want to look at is probably the easiest command you'll ever use in your life. It's just the say command. So whatever you type in, will be said. Siri is a hoe. So that's it. So you can impress your friends with that. It's always the simple commands that get people's attention. So if you really wanted to be a dick, you could put that in a cron job or, I don't know, some type of script and have it randomly say things to people just to kind of mess with them. That'd be cool. But I don't know. I'm a dick. And I'm kind of tired now. So thanks for watching. This is Jesse for Bit the Brain. And I'm going to go pass out.